here's the thing. Usually, if one of my GoPros failed, I'd trash the video and be done with it. It's happened in the past, and there are some would-have-been-awesome videos that never saw the light. There's no reason to post content that sucks. But, for the Shelby GT350, I'm making an exception, because this car is just unbelievably good, and it'd be a disservice for me not to sing its praises. There are very few cars that I get in and can't help but smile as I drive them. Honestly, only two come to mind before I'd driven this car. The latest generation ND Mazda MX-5 and the Jaguar F-Type R. If you don't believe me, watch my video review of either car. I can't help but laugh. But this ultra short list of cars that force a grin on your face just added its newest member, the GT350. I was crushed that my battery died mid-conversation, and the Ford rep had to listen to my profanities for the rest of the drive, but mostly just my laughter. I was even asking him to help fix the GoPro setup to face it outside the window while simultaneously flooring it in second gear, forcing him back in his seat. I didn't care that I was ruining my video at the time, I was enjoying the 350 to the fullest. So why? What makes this car so special? Why couldn't I wipe the grin off my face? Really, it comes down to the engine, a healthy 5.2 liter V8 that revs all the way to 8,250 RPM. The connection between your right foot pressing the pedal down, the immediate response of the engine to your exact input, the torque pushing you back into your seat, and all with one of the best exhaust roars I've ever heard, you cannot help but smile. And this is a big heavy car, but it's a big heavy car that has plenty of torque, a very firm suspension, and super grippy tires. All of this results in a car that although weighs in at close to 3,800 pounds, is surprisingly extremely responsive to all of your inputs. I love it, I absolutely love it, and honestly it's quite rare that a car makes me this genuinely happy. It's an incredible, incredible machine. And let me just add, Motor Trend recently hot lapped the more track friendly version of this car, the GT350R, and at a $67,000 sticker price, this car lapped Laguna Seca faster than the new Acura NSX, faster than the Nissan GTR, and even a fraction of a second faster than the Ferrari 458 lap time set back in 2011. And this is a $67,000 car with 458 speed. In summary, buy one.